It's almost Halloween, so I thought I'd make a ghost, a little ghost in GIMP and show you how to do it. So we're going to make an image like this. And I'm going to close this one and open a new file. And the size is 800 by 600 and click OK. And now I'm going to go to my ellipse select tool and tick fixed and pick size. And I'm using 166 by 166 myself and anything close to this is fine. And then go to select, save to channel. And now your selection is save to channel, the channel here. And now go to your path tool to make the bottom half of the uh, ghost. And click here, and then click about here. And then click and drag, and click and drag, and click and drag, and click and drag, and click and drag. And last time click and drag here, and Continue like this and this. And now I'm going to adjust this a little bit by clicking and dragging on the notes. And I think this is fine. And I'm going to click on selection from path in my toolbox. And now I'm going to go to my channel dialog here and right click on selection mask copy and click add to selection. And now I've got the outline for my ghost. Now go to your layers dialog here and create a new layer called ghost. And go to your bucket fill tool and fill this with white. And you can't see it because it's white on the white. So we're going to make the background layer a different color, black, because it's pitch black, the background behind the ghost. And you need to go to select none and then make your foreground color black and just Fill in your background layer. Make sure it's your background layer selected. And there you've got your coast outline. Now make a new layer and call it I. And make sure this layer is on top. And then go back to your elliptical select tool here. And untick fixed. And make sure the mode is set to replace to current selection. I had it uh, wrong. You probably not so um don't mind me mumbling. And make a elliptical selection like this. About this size. This is good. And now go to your rotate tool. And we're going to rotate the selection by ticking on transform the selection here. And then click on your selection and rotate it a bit. And a little bit more I think. And click rotate. And I think that's about good. And I want to move it up a little bit. Move the selection up to there. And it's just fine. And then go to your bucket fill tool and fill this in with black. Now go back to your layer dialog and duplicate the eye layer by clicking on this icon here. Now grab your move tool and move the... Oops! Oh, I... I don't know what happened. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Move the layer to here. I just put this on move selection and you need to put it back to move the layer if you have moved the selection. So that's what happens. And now go to select none and create a new layer and call it mouth. And I'm going to draw this mouth with the paths tool. And I'm going to make a path that looks a bit like this. And to close the path, uh, press control on your keyboard and click on the beginning point. And like that. And now I'm going to move this line down a bit. Like this. And then click on selection from path in my toolbox. And then go to my bucket fill tool and fill this with black. And now go to select none. And go to your layer dialog and on the coast layer click right click and click alpha to selection. And now create a new layer. Click on mouth first and then create a new layer and call it shading. I'm sorry, shading. And fill this layer. Make sure this uh, layer is on top and fill it with black with your bucket fill tool. And now go select to path. And we're going to need this path later. And now go select shrink. 
and shrink by 10 pixels and click OK. And go to select feather and feather by 50 pixels and click OK. And now press delete on your keyboard. And now go to select, oops, select none. And create a new layer and call it outline. And we're almost done. All we need to do is get rid of this dotted white line here. And that's what we're going to do with the outline. Go to your foreground color and make it a darker color gray. Something like this is fine. And then click OK. And then click on Edit. Stroke Path. And stroke your path with a line width of 2 pixels and solid color and click Stroke. And there's your outline. And now your coast is done. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, then maybe you'd like to watch my other videos and subscribe. And happy Halloween!